racing fans and welcome to Race Day Preview. Nine races on the card tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, February the 5th, 2023. The feature event will be the Mercury Spring. That will be the third event on the card. The post time for the first event is 12 noon. So please make note, nine races on the card. The post time for the first event is 12 noon. Let's go right along. The first event, they go. One mile is for three year old and up, optional claiming 550 to 450. Native bred six year old up, non winner of four. And imported six year old up, non winner of three. We have seven taking part. Number one, Bibl Biblical Legend show some form the last time, fought by eight length behind Blood Song. Is groping to find form, will have it very tough here, but is getting fitter and fitter with races and will run well without actually winning. Number two, Zabaton has changed table, taking orders now from Steve Todd. 57 kilo was Dean Lehman last, and best left alone Zabaton. Number three, the information of Master of All. Information is out that this horse has been looking up at, at exercise. This horse has been working well, and this horse has been eating out well, and this horse is coming to run Master of All. So please make note, number three, Master of All is coming to run. Number four, Blood Song, will be very difficult to beat. Change of stable from Anthony Nunes to Teng Sang Chung. They call for Tevin Foster to do do, do duty. We see on Sunday the 29th of the first, Blood Song gallop out the straight, three furlong in 38 and three fifth of a second. So Blood Song is on the exercise track. That means Blood Song is fit, sound, and well. Number five, Bin Laden was a subject of. A gambler in his penultimate race on the 27th of December basically went through the motion and last year has been shooting for this race this race look as if they had this race in mind and expect a good run from Bin Laden in this event I'm taking number four blood song to get the better of number three master of all and number five Bin Laden moving right along the second event they go a mile is for restricted allowance five, native bred five wheel and up, none enough two, imported five wheel and up maiden, and they go one mile, six taking part. Number three, another champion, and number four, Sticky Dunn should have the race between these, between themselves. Expect Sticky Dunn to set off in front under Andrew Thomas and prove very elusive. If he's not elusive, expect another champion to come running on and nab him in deep stretch. So it's a two horse race in my opinion and taking the speed, stick it on to go wire to wire to get the better of number three, another champion. Moving right along to the third event is for maiden special weight, native bred, three year old, Colton Gelding, the Mercury Sprint, they go five furlong straight, six taking part. Number one, curled in noon, this horse ran a good race and last was third, beaten five length, basically went through the motions, has been looking up at exercise and expected to run well. Number three, Ridge Liner, basically was second behind a good horse and last, El Fortunado. So expect a better run from Ridge Liner here. Should be more competitive against these. Truly got begotten the sun. Something must have gone amiss. Note that the blinkers are off, the visor are on, the tongue tire are on, and expect a better run from Truly Begotten the Sun. Remember, on the 24th of December 2022, this horse finished second, a length and a half behind Piggly Wiggly out of the straight. This horse was second behind Speedy Air out of the straight. So basically, this horse enjoyed the five straight and will be very difficult to beat. Number five, Warren Thunder, is bouncing around here or there and could spring a surprise, while number six, Bad Investment, a peculiar name for us, interestingly the name, Bad Investment, here by Casual Trick out of my angel brain. And not really, nothing much to write home about. Yeah, so basically this race, I'm taking the experience horse and I'm going for number four, Truly begotten son 
to throw his last race through the window and come out on top to get the better of number one, Curlin's Noon, and number three, Ridge Liner. The fourth event, they go six furlong, is for restricted allowance five for native bred four year one up, not enough to import it for an up maiden, and they go six furlong eight declare. Number one, Stormer come, race prominent and last. Int was ampered, leaving the, uh, leaving the three furlong point on the course. With a cleaner trip, expect a good run from Stormer come. Note that the figure eight is off. Coming out of the shoot barn of Patrick Lynch, we have to keep Stormer come on the right side. Number two, Great Rain was second, seven and a half length, coming seven furlong. A journey basically out of his jurisdiction. Back to sprinting is very fit. Expect a good run from Great Rain. We see on Wednesday this horse showed five furlong in one minute eight and three fifth of a second. That means this horse is coming to run. No, please make note the tongue tie is off. Number four, North London. My idea of the winner. Let us look on North London. We see on the 14th of January 2023, this horse was closing hands over fist behind Love Dub and Wotastic. Came back on the 28th of January, coming from a poor number one draw, behind posing already 59 and 2 fifth of a second. That race finished in 59 and 2, and this horse, North London, finished up in 1 minute 1 seconds flat. Basically, that race is an exercise gallop. Mere 49 kilo, they called for Samantha Fletcher. Whosoever beat North London will, will win this event. Number five, AK Storm. Somewhat of a disappointment, but coming out of the Anthony Dixie camp. Could be there about short, while number six, Joe, ran a disappointed race. And last week, and show that run through the window was Paula Joe coming out of gate number three. Will enjoy this distant of six furlong and joe should be kept on the right side tap it good somewhat of a disappointment since break is maiden while legal bomb has been somewhat of a disappointment but for me i'm taking number four north london he's my 10 star banker of the day under samantha fletcher to get the better of number one stormer come number six joe moving right along to the fifth event they go seven furlong it's for restricted allowance Four, native bred five will up, none enough three, imported five will up, none enough two, and nine taking part. Number, they go seven furlong. Number one, Slam Solana, made all and last, was up in class, now we'll have it difficult here. Three card guy, best left alone, traditional boy, the cheek pieces are off, expect a good run now. They call for Dane Dock into the wood service, expect a good run from traditional boy, will enjoy this seven furlong. JJ the Warriors run into decent form. Anthony Thomas is called to do duty. We have to keep JJ Warrior, who's running into decent form, on the right side. Number five, the cat be the glory, somewhat of a disappointment, and last could turn around the stable. We'll be winning by the unfashionably Kawhi's Jenker. And this to cat be the glory, if get a clean trip, could be there when it matters most. Number six, sensational ending has been burning up a lot of cash was a beaten favorite in his penultimate race on the 2nd of January. Rear at the gate, threw away his chance, now is no back. If this horse get with a mere 49 kilo of this horse, breaks well, could set off in front and prove very elusive. We have to keep sensational ending on the right side. Information is out, number eight, Maya. Expect a good run from Maya. Maya form has been somewhat horrible, but information is out that this horse is looking up and is coming to run. Please make note, Maya is coming to run. Number nine, curling flight coming out of the shoot barn. Yeah, and last, the figure eight is on here. Yeah, let's see what um patrick lynch will do with this horse and this horse could be a dangerous customer we have to keep curling flight on the right side we'll enjoy this trip of seven furlong so don't be deceived here coming out of a shoot ban keep curling flight on the right side but for me i'm taking number eight maya to get the better of number nine curling flight Number three, traditional boy, and number four, JJ Warrior. Moving right along to the sixth event, they go five furlong straight. 
is for three year and up, optional claiming 250 to 200. For six year and up, down enough three, imported six year and up, down enough two, 14 take part. Alimony, somewhat of a disappointment. If the right alimony turn up, alimony will basically bury this field. I haven't get any information, any word about alimony, no story about alimony. So you have to take this one on trust. Number two, Willard Dean will be basically out sprinted here. Yes. Smart tradition was a runaway win and last. Coming out of the shoot barn of Errol Sabrati, Anthony Thomas is in the saddle. Smart tradition will be very difficult to beat. Ali is struggling to find form while awesome boy, if the right awesome boy turned up, could be there about at the business end. is plagued with unsoundness here and have to take on trust. Chulis City, best left alone while number seven, Golden Emperor have missed the bus. Number eight, Big Dream coming off a rest. I haven't seen this one for quite a while. Trevor Simpson, the choice of rider, call to do duty. Even though Trevor Simpson is in the I I am I am not siding with Big Dream. Boss Izzy is very fit, have to be respected here. While number ten, Chai Two Prince, fifty-seven kilo with Christopher Mandine in the saddle. Here should be there about short coming out of the art. Camp of Dale Murphy, and we have to treat this number 10 Chai Two Prince with a lot of respect. Dale Murphy Camp is basically very hot at the moment. Number 13, Corandero will become running on. John on the outside of Joe with Jaw and the Forbes have to be treated with a lot of respect. And number 14, Uncle Wal John on the stand side has to be respected here coming out of the Dale Murphy Camp, and he's my idea of the winner. And I'm taking number 14, Uncle Wal, to get the better of number 13, Corandero. Number three, Smart Tradition, and number five, Awesome Boy. But please make note, number nine, Boss Izzy, could be there about you out. The seventh event, they go 1900 meter, non restricted overnight allowance for three year old and up, and we have a taking part. 57 kilo, Crimson will be very very difficult to beat they call for radish roman will enjoy every inch of this jerk this trip and will be very difficult to beat number two power is looking up here one in workman like style on last and this horse is very fit and is improving and this horse power could be anything we have to treat this horse with a lot of respect number four ed cornerstone somewhat of a disappointment here let's see what type of ed cornerstone will turn up they come they call for anthony thomas in the saga information is out that billy Bill, something must have gone wrong with this horse here i've heard good information that this horse is is fighting some issues some niggling issues so i'm not siding it busy will billy will come tomorrow afternoon number seven positive id is very fit could be the fittest in the lineup and will become running on and it'll be a very difficult horse to beat it's a two horse race in my opinion here and i'm taking number one crimson to get the better of number seven the very fit and fast the improve positive id the up in class power could be anything and we have to treat this horse with a lot of respect moving right along the eighth event is the non-stricted allowance made a condition race for native bread four year old and up and they go five furlong straight number two a dynamash the lasik has been removed this horse misses the break from a very poor number one draw with a cleaner break this horse is a very good horse by buzz nightmare to she's aspired by freedom for janet expect a good run from a dynamash if given the green light number three just moved in was second beaten in his penultimate race over five furlongs straight and this horse has lost two good five furlong straight race here coming five furlong straight again enjoy the trip show the last race through the window just move in is a live contender come tomorrow afternoon number four another brother is fighting to find form blue persuasion is getting fitter and fitter with races and could come closing in deep stretch and could be a danger to all number six addison is very fast but not all in his get up let's see if this addison can all get up tomorrow after, is that get up tomorrow afternoon while number seven the last dance here is groping to find his form here information is out that this horse is a very good horse but i don't think this last dance is ready for competition number 10 nakita b was a subject of a 17 to 1 gambler misses the break on last expect a better run from nikita b and we must keep the, this horse on the right side and i'm telling you people 
please do not let this horse Nikita be off your tickets come tomorrow afternoon. My idea of the winner though is number 11 called the Emperor. John on the outside, Kirawa Jenker expect this horse to be the, to, to, to be up with the pace and come explode in the center of the course on the stand side I should say in deep stretch and will be very difficult to beat. And I'm taking number 11 called the Emperor to get the better of number 10 Nikita B, number three, just move in, and number two, Edina March. Moving right along, the ninth and final event is a restricted allowance four for native bread, four year old and up, none enough three, imported four and up, none enough two, and ten taking part. Number one, Northern Lady, best left alone. Number two, Love Dub was a winner and last. Up in class, is very fit. We have to treat Love Dub with respect, even though up in class. Run puncher, run is hard out and last, when third by two and a half length behind our bidder and ultimate machine. Signs are that this horse is getting fitter and fitter with races and this horse could be there about at the business end. Number four, slammer, somewhat of a disappointment here. The visor of the blinkers on, coming out of the five straight could be the doctor's order and we have to respect the slammer and he'll be very dangerous. He will be a very dangerous customer come tomorrow afternoon. Brampton Alex will love this five straight through the last run through the window and expect a good run from Brampton Alex. Lacromine is struggling to find good form. Number seven, great trick, will have it all to do. Taluna, somewhat of a disappointment, will be come run, will be, will be racing prominent in center of the course and will have a chance. Anthony Thomas is in the irons, expect a good run from Taluna, while number nine, KP Choice, run somewhat of a disappointment to race and last will enjoy this trip was beating her neck by a princess shooting star who went up in class and won and, and actually ran a good race behind curling affair so based on this race here that race expect a good run from kp choice who loved the straight and expected to be a very dangerous customer so i'm taking number nine kp choice to get the better of number four slammer number seven taluna and number five brampton alex so there we have it folks, race day preview. And please remember to like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel YRB TV. And please remember to tell a friend to tell a friend about this YouTube channel. And if this is the first time you're stumbling up on this YouTube channel, please like, share and subscribe. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped, you will be first to know. You'll be notified when you when you press the the notification bell. Thank you very much for listening in to Yard B TV and Race Day Preview. And enjoy the races at the track tomorrow. Best of luck now and happy hunting.